Let us discuss the equivalence of deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. Subset construction method or conversion from NFA to DFA. Everyone knows the deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. In deterministic finite automata, set of states looking at input symbol, it is to only one state. Whereas non-deterministic finite automata, set of states looking at the input symbol, it reaches to n number of states. That is 2 raised to the power q. Coming to the first problem, convert the following NFA to DFA. So in this transition diagram is original non-deterministic finite automata. In the first step, so in the first step, both NFA and DFA, we have 5 tuples. So m equal to q sigma del q naught f. These are the 5 tuples in non-deterministic finite automata. Whereas deterministic finite automata denoted by m dash equal to q dash sigma dash del dash q naught dash f dash. These are the 5 tuples in deterministic finite automata. Coming to the NFA, here q is a set of states. In this transition diagram, q naught, q1 are 2 states. So q equal to q naught comma q1. 0 comma 1 these are the two inputs so inputs denoted by sigma sigma equal to 0 comma 1 in this transition diagram starting state and final state going to be q naught so starting state denoted by q naught q naught equal to q naught final state f equal to q naught here in deterministic finite automata we have five tuples when you are converting from nfa to dfa the dfa considers q dash equal to 2 raised to the power q, where q represents set of states in the NFA. This process involves creating subset of states in NFA, resulting in DFA with 2 raised to the power q states, which includes all possible combinations of states from the original NFA. Here, in this transition diagram, two we have 2 states. So, here 2 raised to the power 2 equal to 4. So, we need to write 4 possible combinations of states from the original NFA. How do we write the possible combinations? Initially, this starts with that null symbols. So, null, first single pair Q0 and Q1. So, here Q0, Q1, initial state null. Next, Q0, Q1, take the double pair Q0, Q1. So, we finished all the possible combinations. So, we got 4 possible combinations, null, Q0, Q1 q0 q1 and here the inputs are 0 comma 1 so sigma dash equal to 0 comma 1 and starting state q0 dash equal to q0 look at the transition diagram here q0 is our starting state how do you represent the final state here we already written the four possible combinations null q0 q1 q0 q1 wherever the q0 is present that is your final state here q0 and q0 q1 these two states are final state next second step in the second step defining the transition functions del in nfa del of q0 comma 0 how do you uh, how do you do the transition functions take the initial state in this transition diagram initial state is going to be q0 and apply the inputs inputs are going to be 0 comma 1 so starting state is q0 input 0 comma 1 when we apply the input 0 comma 1 we will get the answer q0 q1 and q1 so q0 0 look at the transition diagram q0 0 goes to q0 and q1 q0 1 goes to q1 here i am writing q0 0 q0 q1 q0 1 equal to q1 whereas deterministic finite automata deter, uh, denoted by del dash of q0 0 q0 q1 whatever you are getting in the left hand side on the right hand side but for your variation purposes i just uh, mentioned the bracket flower bracket and square bracket so here whatever you are getting in the left hand side you have to write it on the right hand side. So, q0 0 equal to q0 q1, q0 1 equal to q1. And here, how do you proceed to that next step? Proceed to the next step by keeping the given answer. Proceed in the same way, if you get any new state, maybe if you get the same state repeatedly, you, sh you should stop. 
here we are getting the new state q0 q1 q1 then proceed with the next step using this answer so del of q1 or uh, q1 and input going to be 0 1 so q1 0 q1 q1 1 q0 q1 see the transition diagram q1 0 goes to q1 q1 0 q10 goes to q1 q11 go to q1 itself and again q11 go to q0 so q0 q1 here i mentioned q110 equal to q1 q11 q0 q1 write the same answer as you get on the left side on the right hand side del dash of q10 q1 del dash of q11 q0 q1 then here we got the answer q1 q0 q1 these two answers are repeated so we can't proceed to the next step we already got a, at a new states q0 q1 q1 so we performed q1 next one is q0 q1 so q0 q1 0 then do the extended function q0 0 union of q1 0 so q0 0 is q0 q1 q1 0 is q1 then you combine the two sets you will get q0 q1 then write the same answer as you get on the left side on the right side next one more input is there del of q0 q1 comma 1 so q0 1 union del of q1 1 so q0 1 q1 q1 1 q0 q1 then do the union operation you will get q0 q1 then here you write del dash of q0 q1 1 equal to q0 q1 then finally we need to we need to draw the transition diagram and we need to make the transition table so first we need to make the transition table how do you make the transition table so here coming to the third step in order to use the second step we need to put the transition table look at the second step in the second step we are used q0 q1 so here q0 q1 q0 q1 okay so in our transition diagram q0 is our starting state and a final state in the second step we used q0 q1 q0 q1 so starting state we know that q0 and the final state is also q0 so here starting state q0 wherever the q0 is presented so in this state q0 is your starting state and final state here q0 q1 so this is also final state so here i mentioned q0 is your starting state and final state q0 q1 is your final state okay next apply the input 0 and 1 so q0 0 q0 q1 q0 0 q0 q1 q0 1 q1 so in this table i mentioned q0 0 q0 q1 q0 1 q1 next q1 0 q1 0 and q1 1 q1 0 q1 q1 1 q0 q1 so here in this in this transition transition table q1 0 q1 q1 1 q0 q1 similarly q0 q1 0 you will get q0 q1 q0 q1 1 q0 q1 so finally we need to draw the transition diagram so q0 is your starting state and final state so q0 q1 here q0 q1 is your final state so q0 0 goes to q0 q1 q0 0 goes to q0 q1 and q0 looking a symbol 1 it reaches to q1 here q0 1 goes to q1 q10 q10 goes to q1 so q10 goes to q1 self loop 0 here q11 goes to q0 q1 and last one q0 q1 so 0 1 both are going to q0 q1 so you mentioned the self loop 0 comma 1 okay we will discuss one more problem in the next video thank you